Today I'm going to be doing a little review of the Herpstat 1 Basic. So initially when I went with the Herpstat 1 Basic, I thought, well, it's called the Basic Model, it's the cheapest thing, it's going to be, uh, you know, really subpar to the other Herpstats that I hear everyone talking about. But really, it's completely to the contrary. Um, it's exactly the same as the Herpstat 1. Um, it doesn't have the automatic relay feature, a couple of other features, but everything else is exactly the same. It's the same quality uh, proportional thermostat. It has both dimming and pulse proportional mode. Um, one thing about it, I'm going to compare a little bit to the uh, uh, Vivarium Electronics models. Uh, with the VE electronics, uh, electronics, you have to either choose a model that's dimming proportional or pulse proportional. With the uh, Herbstat 1 Basic, you can choose uh, dimming or pulse. So here, just to give you a little look at the menu, there's output configuration, setup where you can change the brightness, uh, beeping, everything else. Uh, and you can set a passcode if you want. Very simple to use. There's the initial menu. And then when you go in to output, uh, you have different things. Here's where you can change dimming, pulse. Uh, that's for cooling or if you want lights. So this thing can actually do so many different things. Uh, if you want to, I mean, it doesn't really apply to me, but uh, if you want to, you can hook it up to lights, uh, have it use lighting as a heating source, it can control uh, humidity, there's a humidity probe for it, um, so it's really the, the combinations are endless for this, you can do anything you want with it. So, uh, aside from it being called a basic, you can really do everything. Uh, one of the other differences between the basic and the regular Herbstat one is that it has a uh, software clock, I believe it's called, uh, instead of a hardware clock. So that means that if it shuts down, I mean, you set the time for the clock, whatever you want, and then uh, if it accidentally shuts down or something, like you unplug it, uh, you're going to have to reset the clock. It's going to have left off where you when you unplugged it. So... Uh, that's one thing that's different from the basic to the one. Some other features that it has is uh, you can actually set an alarm. Uh, so you can set what temperature uh, the alarm goes off. So if it gets too hot or too cold, it'll start beeping. Uh, you can also, you can see here uh, where it actually says uh, when it's on dimming proportional how hard the thermostat's working. So right now it's putting like 32 percent of uh, power to the heat tape so that's great you can see if it's you know if maybe it's not enough uh, power to heat what you want uh, you can kinda see like you know where your heat tapes at uh, also right here is what you set the temperature for very easy to set the temperature you have the plus or minus buttons uh, you can uh, set it to uh, 0 0.1 degrees, so you could have like 95.1, 95.2, and then up above it is what the temperature is right now. And I have found it to be very accurate. Um, I've measured where the probe is with my uh, with my uh, laser thermometer. Um, it's exactly, it's right on. So the probes that they sell are unparalleled. They're awesome. Um, obviously, I don't even have to it goes without saying it's extremely accurate as you can see it's set at 95 it's keeping the heat tape right now 94.2 and uh, that's actually the farthest off I've ever seen it usually it's right at 95 or at like 94.9 94.8 so uh, it's fantastic at keeping the temperatures where they're at um, another thing that's great about them uh, way better than the uh, VE line of thermostats is that they have uh, night drop mode so uh, that means that you can set it for at the night time or whatever time you want to have a different temperature uh, it has uh, ramping which means that it'll slowly adjust the temperature down to what you want it uh, and it's not just like an automatic drop like you know 95 in the daytime and then up oh, eight o'clock and you know drops it straight down to 80 
it uh, for as long as you want actually it slowly adjusts the temperature so it has a ton of cool features I mean there's too many to even talk about uh, but you can read the specifications on the Spider Electronics site. Uh, fantastic people to deal with. Um, you can buy direct from their site. So I would highly recommend this. I haven't tried the Vivarium Electronics thermostats, but from everywhere, from everything I've seen of them and, you know, read specifications and stuff, this is a lot better for your, uh, you know, bang for your buck. So uh, this costs actually exactly the same as the... Uh, VE200 I believe which is the regular uh, proportional thermostat the cheapest model $115 for that $115 for this so I would say it's way worth it to get this instead another great thing about it is that it sits right on top here it's small it's smaller than the Vivarium Electronics model it's got the little rubber feet on it you just set it right down um, it comes with a very long probe it's like a 12 foot probe so uh, it's all that you're gonna need and more uh, comes with a cord very heavy duty so it's really fantastic I would highly recommend it um, and I hope this video helped you guys out uh, to if you were trying to decide what thermostat to get and uh, I'll see you guys later